West Side. Yo. I painted some skeletons. We're going to use them for uh, Dungeons and Dragons. Because I don't play any fantasy games. Maybe in the future I'll use them for Frostgrave or... Who knows, I might up end, I end up playing uh, AOS one day. Probably not. Maybe some Nightfall. Went for a very uh, rusty old look. Typhus corrosion on the, all the metal parts. Some field blue for the cloth. It's a Bayejo color. Some tufts. Some aquarium. Uh, basing here I went for uh, five spear guys five sword guys you never know what you're uh, going to run into so I thought of doing a nice mix and I have uh, seven more sepulchral guard Minis from the Night Vault range. I'm going to do those uh, like elites. So I painted these, uh, I sprayed them white. It's really a very cheap primer. This stuff. It's just a white primer and it goes on really flat. And the cool thing about that primer is that it, uh, if you water down your paints and put some medium in there, it'll kind of uh, repel the paint. So you get this nice automatic highlighting. I left that where I could. And then I did the bones. I did them uh, Zandri just uh, base coat. Then a uh, Ushapti bone uh, dry brush. And then a white scar highlight. And then I washed it all with Agrax Earth, Earth Shade. Not my own, uh, not my own uh, mix of brown wash but uh, an actual bottle of uh, Agrax Earth Shade it's a little blacker than what I made also bought some new Nolan oil I'm going to use uh, my own black wash on the terrain basis and uh, really rusty parts I'm going to use the Nolan oil for faces making beards those kinds of things. Let me know what you think about the bone color on these. I was really tempted to make them purple, purple bones, but then I was like, mm. It might destroy immersion a bit. I like it that they're dirty looking. Really like that sword. Didn't do much uh, in the way of conversion. I did some posing here, but I wanted this guy to have trouble navigating the, the rocky landscape. After all, he has no muscles to absorb the shock. Just has to move forward on pure will and magic. So, 
He's using his spear to get closer to the enemy inch by inch. I need to give a sheath uh, a wash. It's it's hyper green right now. So I made a nice uh, skeleton warband. Really curious to find out what you guys think about it. Leave me uh, a comment, hit like if you like, and uh, always ultra happy with a uh, subscribe. So uh, if you want, feel like doing that, I'd be super thankful. This is uh, the box, Skeleton Warriors. It's a really nice box, it was 12 pounds. Got 10 miniatures for 12 pounds, that's a steal. And then inside the box, after building these 10 models, we have all these cool options left. It will warn, extra shields, banner, banner arm pole, loads more shields, loads more swords, a bunch of spears, extra skulls. Really cool. So, it's really nice for the bitch box. Going to cut these up, put them in my bitch box. I have to start a fantasy bitch box now with all the fantasy models I've been doing lately. Nice for kid bashing, doing some blunt shit too, stuff like that. Okay, let me know what you guys think about the, about the skellies. And then, uh, as always, Talk to you next time. Whistle.